Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of the Ultimate PowerPC Mac video series. So in the last video we basically just went over all of the components and upgrades that we're going to install in our G5 quads. Uh, if you haven't seen that one yet then I recommend you go check that video out first. Link will be in the description down below. Um, but this one is kind of the meat and potatoes of the series. In this video we're going to transform our currently base spec G5 quads into hopefully one of the fastest PowerPC Macs on the planet. So um, without further ado, let's get on with it. Here's the G5 in all its glory then. Removing the side panel reveals the currently installed two gigs of DDR2 RAM, an actually pretty decent 500 gig Western Digital Caviar blue hard drive, and the rather pathetic looking NVIDIA GeForce 6600. The first upgrade we're gonna focus on is the memory. The intake fan assembly can be unplugged from its modular connector in a matter of seconds, giving us full access to the eight RAM slots that this machine possesses. In an age where RAM is sold to the motherboard in the majority of Macs these days, being able to upgrade your memory in the old fashioned way is actually pretty liberating. With our insane 16 gigs of RAM installed, we can now turn our attention to the drive bays. Thankfully, our G5 came with all of the original hard drive screws, which makes this whole installation process a hell of a lot easier. I decided to stick the SSD in the bottom bay and the hard drive in the top, as I figured naturally the mechanical would kick out a fair bit more heat than the SSD. But given there's a fan pushing air at the back of the machine, I doubt it'll affect temperatures too much. Next up, we can finally rip this puny little 6600 out and replace it with something a little beefier to say the least. Enter the Quadro FX 4500. This monster is a dual slot GPU that stretches the entire length of the expansion bay. The card was originally marketed at professionals wanting to run two of Apple's 30 inch cinema displays simultaneously and thinking in modern terms the spec of this card actually supports theoretically a 4k monitor. But before anybody gets their hopes up the dual link DVI ports on this card are limited to 2560 by 1600 so unfortunately PowerPC and 4k is still nothing more than a dream. And lastly, we can install our four port USB 2.0 cards. A pretty unremarkable upgrade, all things considered, but one that will undoubtedly prove incredibly useful. So now we've got everything installed, we can boot the G5 up for the very first time and get a fresh copy of OS X Leopard running on the newly installed SSD. While we're here, we can also format the three terabyte hard drive for use as our storage disk. One little quirk about installing larger drives in the PowerPC Mac is that any volume over 2.2 terabytes breaks the Apple Partition Mac Partition scheme. So in order to access all three terabytes of the drive space we need to format it under GUID. This means we won't be able to boot from the drive but as we've got the SSD installed this isn't going to be much of an issue. So after letting everything install and after going through all of the system updates we finally have our Power Mac G5 quad running Leopard like an absolute dream. And there we are, our Power Mac G5 quad is now looking absolutely beastly. With a maxed out 16 gigabytes of memory, the fastest GPU you can cram in a PowerPC Mac, a lightning fast SSD and an ultra high capacity hard drive, I cannot wait to begin testing this thing and pushing it to its absolute limits. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.